Hey everyone, I want to once again highlight the upcoming Marcus and Millichap webcast on September 13th. In addition to Marcus and Millichap CEO Hassam Naji, we'll have three top tier guests who will share their take on the economic and commercial real estate outlook. Joining Hassam will be former Secretary of the Treasury and Chief Economist of the World Bank, Dr. Lawrence Summers. Swaroop Katuri with Brookfield Asset Management, a global investment fund heavily invested in commercial real estate. And Connor Flynn, the CEO of Kimco Realty, a leading retail REIT with properties all across the United States. Together, they'll share their insights on what you can expect as the commercial real estate market adapts to inflation, rising interest rates, and the slowing economy. You can register for the webcast on our website, marcusmillichap.com. I hope you can join us. Now, this week, I'm going to share some insights from our semi-annual investor sentiment survey. Looking at the headline index value, which came in at 159, it's somewhat reminiscent of the trend we saw in 2016. It declined a bit as higher interest rates bit into the market, but they're not down by as much as people might expect. If you look back at 2016 when the index declined 12 points, the number of commercial real estate transactions flattened out. This year's 11 point decline in the index could deliver similar results, a relatively modest softening. Yes, the market is going through a recalibration as investors rework numbers based on the rising cost of capital, but the survey respondents aren't telegraphing a significant market change. According to the survey, the top two investor concerns are interest rates and inflation. We asked investors a variety of questions about these two issues and how they're adapting their commercial real estate strategies. Interestingly, about two thirds said that interest rate increases aren't affecting their investment plans. And almost 9% said they plan to buy more commercial real estate because of the rising interest rate climate. Think about that. The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates by 225 basis points in the last six months, and 74% of investors said it either doesn't affect their plans or they'll actually buy more. On the sell side, 77% said the rate increases haven't caused them to change their plans, and 11% said they plan to sell more. As for the impact, Consider that the last 12 months through the second quarter of 2022 was by far the most active commercial real estate investment transaction year on record. Even if activity steps back a bit over the next 12 months, it will likely still rank as the second most active year. With regard to inflation, investors were even more dismissive. 24% of the survey respondents said they'd buy less commercial real estate, but almost 12% said they'd buy more. The buy intentions of the most inflation resistant property types like apartments, hotels, and self storage indexed higher overall with about 14.4% of investors saying they plan to buy more of these particular property types because of elevated inflation. But don't get me wrong. We are likely facing a choppy market over the next year. My point is that based on the survey, it won't be severe. Uncertainty and the widening expectation gap between buyers and sellers will likely make for a bumpy ride. And many investors do expect higher interest rates to put upward pressure on cap rates. About 14% think cap rates will rise by 50 basis points or more over the next year, and about 35% think they'll go up by less than 50 basis points. But 27% expect no change in cap rates, and 24% think cap rates will actually fall. So basically, the market's evenly split. 49% think cap rates will be pushed up by the rise in interest rates, and 51% think cap rates will stay flat or even go down. A big part of the reason half of the investors surveyed believe cap rates will stay the same or go lower is because there's still a lot of capital coming into commercial real estate investments. It's all about yield and stability. 
When you compare commercial real estate yields against other investment options right now, they look particularly compelling. Compared to the recent performance of the stock market or bonds or other investments, real estate has outperformed. There are certainly a lot of moving parts, but the survey we just completed in mid-August suggests that investors still see opportunity in commercial real estate investments. For additional insights on what to expect, I encourage you to join our webcast next week on September 13th. The top tier guests we have lined up will help you keep your eyes on the horizon.